Hi guys, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I am going to prepare a next video on our SCM data load series. So that is nothing but the part three, delete the data from the staging table. I already uploaded it part one and part two for the SCM data loader series. In that we had seen that how to create the file to upload the data, and in second video we had seen that how to upload that data into the oracle fusion instance in this third video we are going to see how to delete the data from the staging table so for seeing practically i am just going to my oracle fusion instance home screen before starting the session just i have to say that if you are new on my channel and if you want to learn the oracle fusion so go through my channel fusion playlist you can find various videos on various topics in that playlist which will help you to learn the oracle fusion technical if you have any doubts you can just write an email the email address is specified into the about section of my channel as well as into the description of the this video or you can just write into the comment section of any video okay so continue the topic so as we had seen already the sm data loader so the same navigation we have to follow this time as well so i have to just click on this my client groups so here is an option that is a data exchange just click on this data exchange so it will redirect you on the sm data loader page so here is a data exchange so we had already seen this three topics and now we are going to cover this this delete stage table data okay so i'm just clicking on this delete stage data so you will come on this page so this is the simple functionality where we have to schedule some jobs only and it will delete the data so here we are seeing that there are few filters are applied already there is a one filter of an data since last day and it is 30 and the second filter what the compressed data file okay so what i will do i will just remove both the filters so as soon as i removed both the filters you can see there is the list of files which we had already uploaded so we are having there is a grade dot zip again grade dot zip then that job underscore import underscore one dot zip so we are having a lot of files okay so if you have to see what type of data or what details it is having so you can just click on this drop down and you can see the respect to status or any message or anything which you require okay so which was uploaded on the which date also we can see that okay so now i'm just going above and here is an one action button so if you click on this drop down of this action button so you can see there are the two fields that is an first schedule the deletion and second is an a review the process so first i will tell you about this review process so i'm just clicking on the review process so what is this review process so if you had scheduled any type of any deletion job so it will come under this review process okay so you, we can see that there are multiple jobs which are already scheduled so first job this is the status is cancel the second one which is an a status is an waiting so if you have to see some more details so you can just click here and you can just see the details as well as a log as a parameter then if you need some more details so click on this drop down only and you can find the schedule date or schedule submission date and the other things okay then here is also some other jobs as well so this is the job which is already succeeded okay so i'm just clicking on the drop down and here you can just find the more detail as well so it had taken just 10 two seconds it had completed okay so if you have to just want to find some more details so you can just click on the log and in log you can find the other detail as well okay so the, what is the process id what is the starting time what the process it had done and what type of data it had deleted it will come in this respective log file okay so if there are no data for deletion it uh, they it will not delete anything now what i will do i will just schedule my job okay so this is the schedule job so they they are deleting the data daily okay so that's why maybe we will not find any type of data but let's see if there is any data for deletion or not first so just go above here is the refresh button you can just click on refresh to refresh this respective fields okay now i am going back so here i am just clicking on action button again so we had already seen this review process now schedule the deletion so here is a scheduled deletion and i am just clicking on the scheduled deletion so this is the scheduled delete stage table data process okay so here we have to just give few parameters like action we have to do which type of an action so there are two types of an action first one is a deletion and second one is an archive so i just come down and i am checking so it is second is an archive first one is deletion so i will keep deletion as it is and delete source file so there we will upload the source file like uh, in last video we had uploaded the source file as then job underscore import underscore one so that source file also if you have to delete so you can just keep it as an yes or you can just select as a no 
so i'm just selecting as an yes only i have to delete the source file as well and when to schedule so schedule we can just schedule using a, some schedule so if you click here so what it will give you it will give you the date and the times as well so you can give any start date and end date and you can give the schedule after every four week or after every one week so what time period you have to just schedule that one okay so you can just schedule that job but we have to just run that job now only so i'm just clicking on as soon as possible and i'm just going above and here is a submit button and i'm just clicking on the submit so as soon as we click on the submit it will submit one process so i'm just copying this process id so we can see that process id is 940 at the end i'm just clicking on ok and i'm just coming on this page so you can see i had submitted this process 940 and which is having the status as an wait if i click on this drop down as well so you can see the timing as well now i'm just clicking on the refresh so i'm just refreshing again you can see that the status is an error means our respective job is went into the error so why it is went into the error let me check that so let's go here just select the log so the log will show you that what is the error for this respective job okay so value provided for days since last update is invalid please provide the value between 1 to 30 okay so maybe this parameter value we had just provided some invalid value that's why it is getting this error okay so what i will do i will just close this one i will just go back again to the schedule page so i'm just going back so i just came here i'm just clicking on delete stage data again clicking on action and here is a schedule deletion so this is the parameter which we had provided some invalid value so this is coming as a default as a 30 we can't modify over here okay so that we just have to modify this delete or this one so just modify this field if you want to delete the data just uh, select as an delete else select as an archive okay then delete source file so yes and then after if you have to run it as soon as possible so keep as soon as possible and click on the submit as soon as you click on submit so it will submit one process so this uh, process got submitted clicking on ok so we can see that our process id also this one only so it is succeeded this time okay so we can see that the detail as well it is completed in just one second and whatever the log it had captured we can see that as well so if you have to see the log you can see that as well here there are all the parameter as well and whatever the actions that perform that is also coming so we can see that and if i click here again so we can see the parameter as well and if i just click here again and click on parameter so we can see the parameter as well so these are the parameter so by this way we can just submit this job okay so but there there is a one restriction that we can't pass that respective parameter so what i will do this time so what i am just doing i am just copying this respective job name so as i earlier told you that this job is nothing but the ess job so we can submit this job by using the respective schedule process as well okay so what we will do this time i'm just going here i'm just going down and there is an option tools and in tools we are having some schedule processes so just click on the schedule processes and now if i have to submit that process so click so click here the schedule new process okay and just give here the process name which we copied from there and just tab out so once you tab out the actual uh, job name will come over and you can also see that the description for that respective job so click on just ok so it will populate one parameter window in front of you so you can see that this parameter window is coming now so if you have to delete any type of any jobs or any specific job so you can just delete that one like as in if you want to delete the error jobs only so you can select error so i am just skipping this as a null then load status so you can just select that parameter as well but i am not selecting that as well delete the source file just keep it as an yes and days since last update so i'm just giving as an 3030 now i'm just scrolling down there is no additional parameter just clicking on the submit button so you can see that this process is submitted 997 at the last three digits so click on just okay and now here is an option to refresh so just refresh it so here you can see that the job is already succeeded okay so this is the same job 997 okay so let me here just if you have to download the log so go to the attachment so you can just download the log as well this as well so you can see 
so whatever we are having in that respect to log all the things we are having here as well so this is the same process so what we had done we had submitted the job from there or we can just submit that job from here as well okay so what uh, there we are not able to give the parameter that's why we had come onto the screen and we had just submitted the respective jobs so this is nothing but the how to delete the data from the staging table in an SCM loader so in our next video i'm just going to upload the next part on the SCM loader if you have any doubts any questions you can just write into the comment section of this video or any video please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching